Welcome to the Texas A&M Career Center. Great resumes, cover letters, and elevator pitches are the key tools to use in your job search. But they don't get you the job. They get you an interview. But what is the best way to handle difficult interview questions when they arise? The key is to be prepared, remain calm, and stay positive. Let's look at a few examples of situations you may encounter. This is a favorite question of recruiters and applies in most, if not all, first round screening interviews. Ineffective answers include things like, I don't have any weaknesses, I work too hard, I'm a terrible swimmer, I'm too smart and other people are very intimidated by me. These answers were either completely off topic or flat out lies. And a candidate who comes across as misleading is probably not getting the job. So what is a good example to use? Well, you should choose something professional, but something that is temporary, not directly related to the position you're applying for, but demonstrating teamwork and adaptability. Or something that has used to be a problem in the past, but isn't anymore because of your maturity and self-awareness are helping you manage it. Whatever your weakness is, emphasize your maturity, perseverance, and ability to overcome this to be an effective employee for their company. Behavioral questions are those where you're expected to tell a story. Some will ask you to describe negative situations. Give me an example of a time when you failed at something. Or tell me about a disagreement you had with a colleague or teammate. These are difficult questions. How are you supposed to tell the truth and look good? Again, stay calm and emphasize the positive lessons you learned from the failure rather than the failure itself. Your story should have a beginning, middle, and end, so you'll want to start with the STAR method. Situation, task, action, and result. Even though the results you describe are negative, you'll want to end on a positive note, adding the skills you learned from this experience and what you'll do differently now so that this negative situation doesn't happen again. Your answer will include the negative result of the situation, but also the positive personal result of a skill, quality, or experience you gain from this failure. Employers are increasingly using technical questions and tests in their interview process. You may be given a calculator or other piece of equipment and asked to solve a hypothetical problem while explaining each step of your thought process. Anything listed on your resume or the job posting is fair game. There are certain things employers are, by law, not allowed to ask you about. These include marital status, children, family, age, disability, religion, gender, medical issues including pregnancy, or nationality or race. If you are asked an illegal question, what should you do? There are two good tactics to dodge these questions. Politely decline to answer and turn the conversation back to your qualifications. Okay, so as, as I can see on your resume, you are a graduate student and generally we hire sophomores and juniors uh, for intention. Do you think that you can meet their energy level and go along with them shoulder to shoulder? Uh, I don't think my age has impact on the internship. But actually, um, my uh, four years uh, experience in software will help me contribute to your company better. Try to figure out what they're really asking and answer that question instead. One last question. Uh, are you married or do you have kids? Uh, if you're asking about relocation, uh, yes, I'm comfortable with relocation or traveling of any kind. So. Oh, very good. Yeah, um, because our job requires you 50% of traveling time, so we need that. Help. There, now you've managed to steer the interview back on track without revealing personal details or embarrassing your interviewer. You will probably encounter each of these difficult interview scenarios at some point in your career search. Your greatest weakness, negative behavioral questions, technical questions, and illegal questions. If you would like additional assistance, you can utilize our virtual mock interview tool on HireAggies.com or schedule a face-to-face -face mock interview here at the Career Center with your career coordinator. The best way to handle difficult interview situations is to be prepared, remain calm, and stay positive. Now get out there and gig them.